They've been following me all along. Double personality. Oh boy. What? Where indeed? like your cat. I'd be happy to have that. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. I love Clara and Mia. Oh, great. It really looks like there's blood on his stomach of the bear. Light up the darkness or just for fun? This is so creepy.
doesn't do its job, does that mean I'm a ghost? Oh, there was a light in here all along. But you felt the presence of something else. What kind? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. Brought us together. Did you hear that? Did you? Well, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you. very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? How do you know? We just know we have to. We are part of this world. Don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I feel lost. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. <coughs> they won't come back. feel better. Who told you about me? Are you scared, little friend? I'm confused. I haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves a cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? door, something happened. 
couldn't remember anything else, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, uh, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midday. So, adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten. But I have to turn eleven soon. And you? You're sixteen years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I wish you'd just open the cage so I could go home with my kitty. I haven't even asked her name, so that's not polite. You shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you a stupid, a stupid little girl with no family at all? You're not stupid. I do have a family. I found Grace, my kitten. Crying because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Sure. Good. Now listen carefully. I need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Magic is magical. Magic is very powerful, tremendous, and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. What the hell? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Can't. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We have a spell to bring him back, but we will do that later when we're not attached to each other anymore. Show him that he is powerless and will regret it. Okay. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we'll help him. Thank you. I'll go talk to him. And friend, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? Oh, wow. These bitches. Oh my god. I need a bridge. Oh, you dummy. Climb out the window? Excuse you? Oh. Oh, this whole entire house just brings me here. Okay. Well, never mind then. I'll go see him in a second. Those girls tell you. They told me they weren't attached to each other before. And 
that they'll get revenge against the ones who did this to them. They also showed me a key. Pretty sure it's for this cage. They had the evil inside. I mean, maybe that someone had its reason. Guess we have to fight evil with evil? Must be something. Something they're really afraid of. Oh no, let's see what I can find. I mean, as far as I know, the only thing they're super scared of is that monster that made them like that. What does this actually say? <sighs> okay. Well, that sounds like something I don't want to do. Oh look, a friend. I have to tell you something. What? You're in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Girl, I'm a toad and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. Toad and cat magnet, they love us. But not to give us love to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. What? She tried, but she did it wrong. What should I do? my best. Girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Yes, but I mean, like, I, I need your heart. I know you have something that makes you see things that others can't. How do you know? Talking toad, is that normal? I don't think so. You can talk to me, that makes you special, it's logical. <laughs> Obviously, you're right. You've seen everything? Maybe you're missing some messages. Doubters need the truth on paper. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. inside my head. Yes, I do have suggestion box now. I set it up earlier today. Yeah, it was earlier today I set it up. I figured it'd be a good thing to have. <laughs> if you wanna help me figure out how to set up those loyalty points there. I'll be able to figure it out. I just don't know where to go to do that. But I started messing around with more things on uh, on my page and stuff earlier.
I put it outside. Oh. It grew on water. What? How does that help me at all? That's literally what I needed. Yeah, I did. I just found a plank of wood, though. I guess that's what I was missing this whole time. Okay. Well, now I feel dumb. Certainly overlooked something. But it's fine. Hopefully this is sturdy enough to help me. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Get over there. Okay, thanks. Okay. Oh my god. Yay! Hey. Alright, what is this bottle? Yeah, at least I figured it out. <laughs> oh god. Okay. What does this say? Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you'll understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the tr face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you'll need blood from the executioner of the ritual. Hair from the person you want to be witch. Oh, so these are the ingredients I already have. Yeah, I should definitely do this instead. Can I get the hair from the girls? Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill the cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil over the person you want to be witch and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. Okay, now we're talking. It's not a good idea to eat bottles, frog. Exactly. Guess we're cooking. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. Beautiful. Okay. Put a lighted black candle on every point.
Metropola. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. It didn't let me do that before. Oh yeah, that's believable. What should I do? Oh, there you are. Wait, I need... Do I actually have to memorize this, like, spell? Because if I do, I'm gonna be screwed. Water, am I boring you? Damn right I tricked you. Yeah. And now I have the key. Um, yes, yes it is right. That's exactly what was supposed to happen, I think, right? Was it? I don't know. Oh, now I can't look at the th Okay, whatever. It's fine, they're free now. And they're separate. They're not together anymore. Uh, 
damn it. Yeah, late night puzzles. Oh god. <sighs> Alright, give me a second. I gotta figure this out. <sighs> Will it reset if I do this? Yes, okay. <laughs> no, I am not gonna do that. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, God, that was frustrating. We did it. Good job, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate ya. What is this? Two skeletons. Oh my God. promise. We, Clara and Mia Bahamut, promise to revenge the unfair destiny it word decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Is the key the only thing I need from here? That's so sad. Poor kids. Wouldn't it be crazy if that key didn't work? Fran with her cat, Mr. Kitty. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. Now it's time to go home. Come on there, Mr. Cat. Let's go. and go to my family. I'm gonna do that too, so I finally found my kitty. Just wanna go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But uh, how will you get out of here? There is no boat. Help us out of here? I'd love to help you, but I'm too tiny, even though my body is quite moldable. 
It'd be impossible to carry you both to the other side. What? What the hell? He's a gigantoad. He wants to help. <gasps> Aww, he gave me my photo back. And a book was with it. What? But I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, I'll take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Oh, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Ah, well, isn't that a sight to see? He is beautiful. Listen, I was never really good at Frogger, okay? Oh, shut up. How good at Frogger were you, huh? Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Yeah, see, again. Don't want to hear it. <gasps> Criticize my frogger skills. See you do better. I challenge you to a frogger off. Both of you. I'm pretty sure we have Frogger too, so. Rude. 